Happy spring, it's time to clean. So like, I don't get it. There are literally like two of us who live here, me and my husband, no kids, no pets, no nothing, but somehow we accumulate like a lot of mess. So if you're needing a little bit of motivation, stick around and let's clean up together. If you are one of those people where you feel like cleaning really stresses you out, I think it's important to remember that the goal isn't to tackle Rome. You're not trying to get everything perfect in a day, but the goal is to get your space in a place where you feel like you can think. It may not be perfect, we'll get there. That's totally fine. The goal is just to get your place in a space where you can think, where you can function. We need to clean the kitchen, the bedroom, the living room, the all the things. And they all need to be organized. We just gotta start somewhere. We gotta start with the cleaning. So that's what we're gonna do. The change of seasons is a great time to tackle cleaning projects. Whether you're someone who finds it difficult to ever keep it clean and feel very overwhelmed by the mess, or you need a refresh from the daily wear and tear of just existing, wherever you are, look around your space, take out your cleaning supplies, and let's get cleaning. I think we all need to know that we're not alone in managing the day-to-day -day task of life, which cleaning is one of them. I wish I could say that there was some rhyme or reason as to which room should get tackled first, but it's a personal decision. When everything needs a bit of tidying up, for me, it typically boils down to one of two things. Which room is stressing me out the most? Or two, which room needs the least amount of straightening up and will make me immediately feel like something has gotten checked off the list? Never underestimate the power of addressing a task that will only take a few minutes to feel accomplished and to start getting some traction. It'll feel good and it'll make you feel like you can move on to bigger things. The bedroom is usually where I start cleaning because I always make the bed. Well, let me clarify. Even if the rest of the room isn't quite where it needs to be, the bed will always get made. It's a habit I got into several years ago when I was even commuting to work every day because I hated the feeling of coming home and seeing my bed a mess. I also have some interesting sensory sensitivities and just cannot get into an unmade bed. The feel of wrinkles and sheets all bunched around me just feels so gross. So it usually gets done not long after me getting up. However, on days when we need to fully straighten up the house and sheets need to be changed, it gets saved for whenever we get to it. We have some other things that we want to do to decorate the bedroom, but honestly, with our busy schedules, we haven't really prioritized it. So we're very minimalist with the bedroom decor right now, but more things are coming. In the meantime, it just needs to be clean. Ah, the kitchen. This is usually Ken's area to clean. Ken's my husband. I'm pretty sure it happened like that for two reasons. The way I'm passionate about the bed being made, he's super passionate about not having anything in the sink or on the counters, like nothing. Also, though we have an office, he likes to work in the kitchen and needs it to be clutter free. But it's Saturday and I'm making the video, so I'm cleaning. We're really good with having a nice even split and dividing up our household chores, but if for whatever reason you're doing it all by yourself, figure out ways to make it easier so that it doesn't always feel overwhelming. One thing Ken and I like to do is to set a timer and get as much done in that time as you can. Depending on the amount of time you have, maybe that's five minutes or 30 minutes, but the point is to do as much as you can in that time and then stop. It's funny how surprised you'll be about how much you get accomplished. Do you have places in your home that seem to be natural catch-alls? Places where you'll put something there and then it stays there for like a week? 
The dining area seems to be that place for us. Work, outerwear, mail, other random knickknacks all find a place on the dining table. We're working to get better at it on a daily basis, but it often ends up being a thing we address once a week. We may not get to it every day, but we do get to it weekly so that we always have a fresh start. In Southern California, it's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform you. All right, so I'm about to make mimosas for this next round of cleaning because it is Saturday after all, and why not? Why not have mimosas while you're cleaning on a Saturday? The office might be our worst area because we both work from home most of the time, it's where we spend the most of our awake time Monday through Friday. It's not that it's hard to clean, but it feels like it gets cluttered more quickly because it's a more confined space that we're both sharing each day. And whatever's happening outside the office gets brought into the office. Coffee, meals, clothes being washed, papers we're printing or reviewing, everything comes into the office. It's another one of those catch-all spaces. This is a space that we have to clean on a daily basis so that it doesn't start to feel overwhelming. We only really use one of our bathrooms, for function really. It's part of the master bedroom and so it's the closest. When it gets messy, it's usually because of me. My hair, my makeup, my stuff everywhere. So I pay extra attention to it when I think of it. I'd like to say that I think of it every day, but I don't. I do try to make sure though that I put away my makeup and my hair stuff daily so that it feels like it's not so much clutter around. However, weekly, it does need a nice deep clean. So I think that's it. Is it perfect? No, there are still some things that we want to get in order and that we want to organize. And again, that is totally fine, but it is now in a place where we feel like we can function, we feel like we can think, we can do our work, and we have a jumping off point for where to like start organizing even more things as we continue our spring cleaning. So yay, 
think it looks really nice. So if this inspired you to clean, please go ahead and comment below, let me know. And if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe and join the journey and let's just hang out. All right, love you. I will talk to you soon. And until then, I'm gonna enjoy my nice clean home. Love you, Mwah. bye.